interested in a career in Salesforce but concerned about its intricacy. Don't worry, this video by Sasguru will discuss about flows in Salesforce. And also talk about auto-launched flow, no trigger, and auto-launched flow, schedule triggered flow, with business scenarios. So, let's dive in. What is a flow in Salesforce? In Salesforce, a flow is more than just an admin tool that automates complex business processes. Simply put, it's an outstanding out-of-the-box application that empowers users to automate complex business processes by collecting data or records in your Salesforce org. As per an update from Dreamforce 2021, Salesforce had announced that Workflow and Process Builder will no longer be available after 2023. Therefore, Salesforce flows are the future. Flows broadly fall into five categories. Screen flow. Schedule triggered flow. Auto launched flow, no trigger. Record triggered flows. Platform event triggered flows. As mentioned earlier, in this segment we'll briefly talk about auto launched flow, no trigger, and auto launched flow, scheduled flow. So, what exactly is an auto launched flow in Salesforce? As the name suggests, auto-launched flow is used to automate complex business processes without the need for coding. It can be launched by Apex, Processes, REST API more. In addition, this flow can be launched based on specific events or conditions. Auto-launched flows also provide abstraction, as you can define the complex processes to be carried out in the background without a user knowing the details. So let's quickly go over a business scenario using auto-launched flow, no trigger. Marvel Industries plans to focus on improving their customer experience and wants to ensure whenever the new opportunity arises, with the type as a new customer. 1. Firstly, the opportunity should be changed to the qualification stage so that the VP of Sales can better understand the sales process. 2. Secondly, the task should be created for the sales rep who owns the opportunity to call the customer and get more details. 3. Finally, a welcome email should be sent to the customer notifying them about a call that has been scheduled with the sales representative. To solve the above requirements, we would call an auto-launched flow using the process builder whenever the new opportunity is created with type as new customer. This flow will update the opportunity stage to qualification, Create a task for the sales rep and send a welcome email to the customer. How to implement it? Create an email alert with the welcome customer's email template. Create an auto-launched flow. Create a record type variable available for input to get the opportunity record from the process builder. Create a data element of type update records to update the opportunity stage. Then create a task of type call and enter the details like due date, assigned to, related to, etc. Create an action element to send an email alert created in step 1 and assign the opportunity ID as a record. Finally, debug, if required, save, and then activate the flow. Create a process builder on opportunity. Select the opportunity as an object and start the process only when a record is created. Define new criteria to check if the opportunity type is new customer. If yes, set an action to call the flow created in step 2. Moving on to auto-launched flow, scheduled flow these flows only run at a time and frequency, once slash daily slash weekly, that the user specifies. It allows Salesforce users to run declarative logic on multiple records at a scheduled time. Schedule triggered flows can also run for a batch of records if the filter conditions are specified. This type of auto launch flow executes using a schedule but doesn't support user interaction, screens, local actions, choices, or choice sets. Solution To solve the above requirements, we would create a scheduled flow on the account to send all the Marvel related customers a feedback email. How to implement it? Create a scheduled flow. Select the flow start date and time with today's time and frequency as weekly. Select object as an account and add a condition to get the only account with the name Marvel. Create a get record element to get all the customers related to the Marvel account. Create a loop element to iterate through the list of customers. Then create a variable resource, customer emails of type text to capture all the customer emails. 
Create an assignment element to add each contact's email to the above list. Create an action element of the type, send an email and select the resource into email addresses, collection. Finally, debug, if required, save, and then activate the flow. In a nutshell, Auto-Launched Flow in Salesforce is a robust business automation tool that seamlessly helps in many ways to automate your organization's repetitive and mundane business processes. We hope this video has helped you understand what is auto-launched flow in Salesforce and how it allows users to choose the flow type based on the business requirement. But they must first learn about Salesforce deployments and functionality in order to properly create the flow. Sign up with SauceGuru and check out our Salesforce certification programs and upgrade your Salesforce career to the next level.